क्लास नाइन्थ जोग्राफी चैप्टर फाइव नेशनल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ फॉर द ईज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस चैप्टर इन टू एट पार्ट सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी शैल लर्न द बेसिक डेफिनेशन इंडिया डाइवर्सिटी फैक्टर्स इफेक्टिंग फ्लोरा एंड फोना इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ फॉरेस्ट टाइप्स ऑफ वेजिटेशन वाइल्ड लाइफ कॉजेज ऑफ एंडेजरमेंट टू वाइल्ड लाइफ एंड the various methods to protect the flora and fauna so before starting let us learn some basic definitions first natural vegetation or the virgin vegetation this refers to a plant community which has grown naturally without human aid and has been left undisturbed for by humans for a long time so this refers to a uh, plants which uh, and the natural vegetation refers to plants which have been growing naturally without any human interference second flora these refer to the plants of a particular region third fauna these refer to the uh, res, uh, species of animals so from flora uh, flora you can learn that flora uh, is similar like flower and flower is a plant and so like that you can learn that which is plants and which is animals d endemic or indigenous species the virgin vegetation which is purely indian is known as endemic species so which are uh, the vegetation uh, which are which is found in the particular country and that is known as endemic species fifth exotic plants these are the plants which have come from outside india so these are are grown in the foreign countries and then they are imported into india now india has a huge diversity in of flora and fauna india has 47000 plant species 90000 animal species 15000 flowering plants and these account for 6% of the total flowering plants in the world and it is fourth uh, in the world it is 10th in the world and fourth in the asia in having the diversity of plants so the, all these factors make india one of the 12 mega biodiversities of the world now let us learn about the importance of forests so forests help to modify local climate enhance environmental quality control soil pollution regulate stream flow support various industries such as the paper industry timber in industry furniture industry etc provide various livelihood to all these people such as the uh, various tribal people live in these forests etc and they of offer recreation to the people as they are they enhance the beauty and you find a very scenic location near the forests they also help to con control wind the force of wind and water they also help to cause rains they provide humus to the soil and they also provide shelter to the various animals such as the small animals or wild animals etc now let us understand the factors affecting the distribution of flora and fauna so there are ma majorly two factors relief and climate in relief the two main factors affecting distribution are land and soil so land influences the type of vegetation for example in the fertile land of the plains Uh, th they are used for agriculture while the rough terrains such as the mountainous terrains etc they they are uh, in their uh, grasslands and woodlands develop second climate under climate the factors various factors are temperature photo period and precipitation temperature it determines the character and extent of vegetation for example on the slopes of himalayas and the hills Uh, which have a very low temperature th there the vegetation changes from the tropical vege vegetation to subtropical and alpine vegetation this means that in the hotter re regions tropical plants which they are very densely uh, vegetated but as we go to uh, higher places with uh, colder temperature there the vegetation cover decreases second photo period this means the duration of sunlight so the, this photo period is affected by various factors such as latitude altitude season and duration of the day and due to longer duration of sunlight during the summers trees grow faster in summers and due to shorter duration of sunlight in winters trees uh, do not grow very fast in the winters 
third precipitation this refers to the amount of rainfall received by the place uh, and the areas which receive dense uh, heavy rainfall ha are have dense vegetation cover than the re regions which re receive less rainfall now let us understand the various types of vegetation found in india so in india five types of forests are found tropical evergreen tropical deciduous mountain forests mangrove forests and thorny thorny forests first tropical evergreen forests these are found in the slopes of western ghats lakshadweep islands andaman nicobar islands the parts of assam and tamil nadu coast the climate of these regions is that they receive more than 200 cm of rainfall with a very short dry season so due to the, the uh, this factor the uh, all the uh, trees of the forest do not shed their leaves at the same time and on a whole the forests appear green throughout the year that that's why they are known as evergreen forests the various trees found in these forests are ebony mahogany rubber chinchona and rosewood uh, they, they they are so dense that they form a canopy or various layers are found in these forests the various animals found in these forests are one horned rhinoceros this is found in the jungles of assam and west bengal also they have a very dense wildlife cover such as birds and all types of animals such as sloths monkeys elephants etc are found in this forest second tropical deciduous forests these are of two types moist deciduous and dry deciduous first let us understand about moist deciduous they are found in the states of nor northeastern states jharkhand west odisha chatisgarh and eastern slopes of western ghats they receive rainfall between 200 to 100 cm so the evergreen forests receive rainfall more than 200 and moist deciduous receive 200 to 100 and dry deciduous receive 100 to 70 cm flora found in moist deciduous forests these are teak bamboo sal kher etc uh, dry deciduous forests they are found in the states of bihar jharkhand and uttar pradesh they receive rainfall between 100 to 70 cm the flora found in these forests are teak sal peepal neem and also it is very rich in wildlife such as lion tiger deer elephant etc third mountain forests these are of various types depending upon the altitude these are temp wet temperate forests temperate forests temperate grasslands alpine vegetation and tundra vegetation wet temperate forests these are found between an altitude of 1000 to 2000 meters oh, yeah, the uh, trees found in this forests are All, all the widely broad leaf trees such as oaks and chestnuts second temperate forests these are found at an altitude of 1500 to uh, 3000 uh, meters and the trees found in these forests are pine deodar silver fir etc all these are conif coniferous trees third temperate grasslands as we go higher we find the temperate grasslands fourth alpine vegetation these are found at an altitude of more than 3600 meters and the trees found are silver fir pine and beech uh, fifth alpine grasslands these are used exen extensively by uh, van gujjars and bhakarwals and all the uh, nomads for gra uh, grazing the cattle sixth tundra vegetation uh, th these are found at very high altitudes and the uh, vegetation found in these forests are mosses and lichens the fauna found in all these uh, in mountain forests are the kashmir stag uh, spotted deer uh, wild sheep tibetan antelope yak uh, snow leopard ra rabbits squirrels shaggy horned uh, ibex Uh, the rare red panda 
and other sheep and goats. Fourth, thorny forests. They are found in the regions of Gujarat, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. They receive ra rainfall less than 70 millimeters. Uh, the various vegetation found in these forests are acacia, cactus, palms and euphorbias. The various animals found in this forest are rats, mice, rabbits, fox, sheep, wolf, uh, etc. Fifth, mangrove forests. They are found in the uh, deltas of Ganga, Mahanadi, Krishna, Godavari and Kaveri. The various plants found in this forest are trees found in this forest are sundri trees which grow in the Sundarban delta, palms, coconuts, kiara and agars. Uh, the, all these trees have uh, breathing roots. F uh, the various animals found in this forest are royal Bengal tiger, uh, crocodiles, gharials, snakes and turtles. Now let us understand about wildlife. So India has 90,000 animal species, 2,000 bird species, 5 to 8 percent of the total world's amphibians, reptiles and mammals, 2, 5, 4, 6 fish species which account for more than 12 percent of the world's total fish species. Also let, now let us understand about the various animals found in India. 1. Elephant. The, these are found in the hot and wet uh, uh, forests of Assam, Karnataka and Kerala. 2nd. One horned rhinoceros. It is found in the marshy and swampy lands of Assam and West Bengal. 3rd. Wild ass. It is found in the runoff kutch. 4th. Camels. They are found in the Thar desert. 5th. The uh, lions. These are found in the Gir forest of Gujarat. 6th, tigers. They are found in Madhya Pradesh, Sundarbans forests and the Himalayas. In addition, various animals such as turtles, crocodiles and gharials, they are found in the rivers and the coastal areas. Also, animals like shaggy one-horned uh, wild ox, Tibetan antelope, wild sheep, etc. They are found in the Himalayas. Also, animals like and birds like peacocks, pheasants, ducks, parakeets, cranes and pigeons are found in the wetlands of India. Now we have learned about the huge diversity in flora and fauna of India uh, but nowadays there is a lot of endangerment of wildlife and uh, let us understand the reasons of this uh, uh, killing of animals and plants. So the main reason is hunting by greedy poachers and hunters. Also pollution due to several chemical and industrial wastes is a main reason. In addition, acid deposits, introduction of alien species to the community and reckless cutting of forests for the various uh, industrial or agricultural, agricultural or domestic uses uh, are the causes of endangerment to, to wildlife. Now, viewing this threat to our flora and fauna, our government has taken various steps to protect our flora and fauna. Such as 18 biosphere reserves have been set up by the government to protect flora and fauna. 10 out of these have been included in the world network of biosphere reserves. Second, financial and technical assistance is provided to many botanical gardens by the government since 1992. Third, Project Tiger, Project Rhino, Project Great Indian Buster and other eco-developmental projects have been launched. Fourth, 103 national parks, 535 wildlife sanctuaries and a lot of zoological gardens have been set up by the government to protect flora and fauna.